Okay, welcome to this, the third part of the Divided Union paper, where I'll be walking you through a 10 mark question on cross referencing the third question. This, in many ways, is one of the trickiest questions. It's very, very difficult to get 10 marks out of 10. I'll show you how you can do that. But also be happy if you get 7 out of 10 on this one and, uh, and move on. 7 or 8 out of 10. Uh, this question, the third one, is asking you to look at three different sources. So let's have a look at an example. So these sources A, B, and C. Do these sources support the view that the Rosenbergs were innocent? Explain your answer using the sources. Now what I suggest you do for this is you're asking to look at three sources and decide do they support the view that they were innocent. So I'll do a little table like this in your exam book of those that support and those that don't support. Now we know that source B with the signs saying they're innocent that will support the statement. Source C is also talking about uh, how um, they shouldn't have been found guilty, that this led to hysteria and fear and it was done in order to, to help the, the the Americans in the Cold War, so that supports. And then source A obviously says that they were not uh, innocent but guilty. So how do we write this up? How far do the sources agree? Well, sources B and C do support this view. So source B and source C do support the view that the Rosenbergs were innocent. And now all we need to do is provide some evidence and backup for that. For instance, in source B there is a crowd of people carrying signs saying we are innocent. Okay, so again I've just taken that from, from source B. And then I need something from source C. In source C uh, we can see that the guilty verdict was due to fear, uh, sorry, hysteria and fear. And what does this show us? Okay, this shows me that both source B and C are sympathetic towards the Rosenbergs. Okay, so I've got my points. I've put in my evidence and now I'm just explaining and therefore they support the view to a great extent linking it back to the question. Now let's talk about uh, how the contrastingly part, how the source A does not support the view. Contrastingly, source A does not support the view that the Rosenbergs were innocent. For instance, in source A, it says their crime was worse than murder and caused the deaths of over 50,000 people. Getting all this from, from the source itself. This shows me that source C is very critical of the Rosenbergs, wants to see them executed and therefore does not support the view to any extent. Okay, So far so good. We've got uh, a wonderful point here. We've backed it up with two bits of detail from the source and we've explained it. Now what we need to do to finish off with Okay, is we need to come to a conclusion. However, now before before we get to the conclusion, I'm going to show you how you can really push on and get and get 10 out of 10 um, by talking about how trustworthy or reliable these sources are. However, source A is not very reliable as it is made by a ju by the judge who sentenced them to death. It is therefore not a very reliable historical source but someone who was uh, involved in the case even though he was trying to be neutral as a judge he was a government uh, employee and wanted to protect the United States. I'm just coming up with this off the top of my head is some sort of analysis of the uh, of one of the sources. Now I'm going to sum up. The question was, how far do they do these sources support the view? Um, 
Therefore, overall, the sources do support the view to some extent with sources B and C being sympathetic and source A involving the judge being very critical. Now then, what we've managed to do is we've managed to argue for and against with a conclusion and then for extra marks we've added something about the reliability of the um, the reliability of the sources themselves. I want everyone to do this bit and this bit and some, if you can, if you remember, to talk about the reliability of the sources as well. If you do the first and second bits and the last bit, you'll be getting seven or eight marks. With the third bit, you'll be getting nine or ten marks. Do what you can, but make sure that you do that support and not support in the exam.